Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're taking a closer look at the iCarsoft CR Ultra, um, which is a professional level, um, serious package um, from Diagnostic World. Now, if you've seen any videos on the iCarsoft CR Max, then this tool goes way, way beyond the capabilities of the CR Max. Um, it does cost granted about five times more than the CR Max but this is aimed at like garage and dealer level tools uh, the guys that are going to be having a lot of things to do a lot of, uh, sort of serious functions to do on a day-to-day -day basis so if you if you maybe like a DIYer and you're looking for a, a tool on your own vehicles then it's there's no reason why you can't buy this but it's probably not aimed at you this is aimed at like the garages the workshops the guys they're going to have a lot of cars coming in from time to time they don't know what they're going to get on a daily basis and they don't know what they're going to have to deal with on a daily basis uh, this tool goes over and above the CR Max okay um, so we're in a 2016 Audi right now we've got a few dashboard warning lights and we're going to use this tool just simply to diagnose those faults this the faults I'm going to show you resetting with this tool they're kind of basic for this tool here um, this tool can go way way deeper into diagnosis than what I'm going to show you but we do have a few other videos on that as well so if you are interested in that tool use the link in the description below this video there are fakes there are clones they can damage your vehicle so it's not worth going down that route so make sure you use the link in the description below and that will take you to the genuine and official product okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the diagnosis option that was the main screen that we saw there uh, and click our manufacturer which is Audi and just gonna click OK to that it just gives you a bit of diagnostic software information and what it's do it's communicating with the Bluetooth dongle you'll see there's no wires attached to this it's a it's an entirely wireless system so we've got a dongle in the diagnostic port you can see the end of it there and it, it purely communicates via Bluetooth okay so this is just the topology of the vehicle and the, the the systems that it will cover the protocols and the languages that it can speak to um, but along the top here is where you'll really really sort of use these links here so we just we click here full systems list and what that's going to do is allow us to start diagnosing all of the systems that are potentially installed to this vehicle and you can see there's hundreds of them because these modern these modern vehicles they do have lots of systems and electronic systems so first of all we've got the flashing glow plug there and I'm going to click on the engine electronics flashing glow plug sometimes is commonly misdiagnosed as being like a fault with the glow plugs now that doesn't mean it, it, it can't be it could well be a fault with the glow plugs but it generally means that it's a fault with the engine electrical system okay so I'm going to click on to the read diagnostic trouble codes here and these are the three codes that it's giving us forget about these two because these two here are like communication faults and we need to look into these in greater detail we're not sure why these are on here as yet uh, it's coming up with like communication faults in every module at the moment so um, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about it because the car is functioning absolutely perfectly uh, but we just do it is something that we need to look into so this is the fault that we're getting P123700 and it's a, it's a simulation of a fault that we would you would get if say for example you had a fault with the, the cylinder one um, and what you can do is the the guys who work in the garages you know the, you'll know this you need to diagnose the fault you need to fix the fault and then erase the fault those are the three main steps um, there are sub steps in between that depending on how detailed you want to go but uh, the, the three main steps are those three um, so what we've done is we to create this fault we unclip the connection for the cylinder one um, we've put it back together but the flashing glow plug light is still on and what I can do now is just go clear diagnostic trouble codes and that flashing glow plug light has gone it's kept us with these communication faults which is, is strange because we're not getting any you know we are communicating with everything that we're trying to so and it's it's not just down to this tool we've tried we've plugged a few different tools in and they're all giving these communication faults so it's quite a strange one but we will need to look into that in a bit greater detail let's have a look at the airbag system the same again we just unclipped a sensor to simulate an airbag fault and then we've got the airbag light so we can just go to read DTC there we go there's the communication again but the this one here is the main one uh, that may well be connected to it as well it probably is but this is this is the one that gives you the fault so front passenger side airbag igniter we found uh, well we'd unclipped the connection for the um, the passenger airbag uh, put it back together, but obviously we've triggered the airbag light. So to do that, to get rid of that, just go clear DTCs. 
the airbag light should turn off any second and there we go that has turned off I'll just take a quick sip of my coffee there before it goes cold and the last one we're gonna go back into the ABS system so it might be down as like brake there it is brake electronics ABS system is found within that Okay, and again we just go read communicate read DTCs. DTC stands for diagnostic trouble codes. Okay, now these are the faults we've been getting. That is due to a faulty tire pressure warning that we're getting. Um, I think that's a faulty sensor, but we need to look into that. Um, again, we've got the communication fault there, don't worry about that. Let's worry about these C faults. Uh, ABS system, the body faults, these are uh, ABS sensor, wheel speed, front right, front right, these are all front right. Simply put because we disconnected the front right ABS sensor, so um, those are the reasons for those faults. And again, it's just a case of we, click, we put everything back together, click on clear DTCs, and the ABS lights have gone, but it's now uh, so sort of re-triggered the, uh, the TPMS fault that we're getting but you know I'm not worried about that for now uh, that's sort of easily solved on a different day um, but you know it, like like for example when I go into the brake electronics it, it gives you the ability to read the codes clear the codes things like that but also do like actuation tests adaption um, and you can code in like new modules new ECUs which is a fantastic feature to have um, and there's a feature that is, is generally needed in the workshop style tools these days because you know m most of these modern vehicles they do have their own ACUs for their own individual systems. Um, you can go to special functions and it gives you like battery matching, um, airbags, transport modes, DPF regeneration. You know, there's so many things that you can do here. But there we go. Um, it's just a quick video showing you this tool and like literally 1% of what this tool can do. Anyway, uh, if you are interested, as I say, just use the link in the description below. There are fakes, there are clones. They can damage a vehicle. It's not worth going down that route, unfortunately. Uh, or should I say fortunately? But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps.